So who is the real home run king? It's definitely Barry Bonds. I want to say congratulations to Aaron Judge for hitting 62 home runs. Even though it's a juiced ball, you know, congratulations. That's a fantastic achievement. But a Mitchell report came out in 2003. There was about 103 players on that report for PED use. And you know who never tested positive? Barry Bonds. You know who never tested positive in general for steroids? Barry Bonds. All right. Let's say he did use steroids. You know, he admitted to the flaxseed oil being rubbed on him. That does not take away the fact that he is the greatest baseball player in baseball MLB history. People think it's the home runs that make him that great. No, it's his on-base percentage. His on-base percentage will never be matched ever again. And I'm tired of baseball acting like the greatest player never existed. His home runs may be passed one day, I won't be surprised, but his on-base percentage will never ever be passed. That man was walked so much and they need to do something about this. They gotta start showing respect to the greatest baseball player of all time. It makes no sense that David Ortiz, who tested positive for PEDs, is in the hall and Barry Bonds is not. 62 home runs is amazing and it hasn't been done in a long time. And Aaron Judge deserves all the credit in the world and all the admiration. But let's not forget like McGuire and Sosa don't have more than 62 home runs in a season. 70 for McGuire. Let's not forget, you want to forget about the steroid era. Let certain players in the hall, certain players not in the hall. The only reason Aaron Judge is receiving this type of media treatment, let's be honest, is because he's a Yankees player. Tired of the New York media always bashing West Coast players, West Coast musicians. They never bash New York players or East Coast players like Babe Ruth for not playing against African Americans, playing against plumbers.